Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go count. Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go add. When all that counting is done, I'll be adding sums. Hey math stars, how are you today? Well, it is a great day to do math and we are starting a new module today, module 13, and we are in lesson one. So let's go take a look. Here we go. Lesson one, I can use two different groups of objects or drawings to represent the numbers six and seven in more than one way. So basically, friends, today we're going to find all the ways to make six or to make seven. That's what we're going to look at. Okay, because there's a couple of different ways for each one. And I'll show you what we mean. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Module 13, lesson one in your book. There's a pier. I don't know if you've ever been to a pier. There's a nice one close to here. There are six buckets on the pier. Some are blue and some are green. How many of each color might there be? Okay, so here we have six equals. Usually we write an, an addition problem with the equal on this side, but do you know it doesn't matter which way you go? All right. So let's make our buckets. We want to make sure that there's a total of six. That's our total amount. So I'm going to get six buckets. Are you ready? I'm going to do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So some are blue and some are green. So I'm going to see, I'm going to Let's see here. We could do three of each, right? Three blue. Here we go. Three blue and some are green. So how many green would there be? And three green. We could do it that way, couldn't we? So we could say that three plus three equals six. We could say that. Is that true? One, two, three, four, five, six. It is true. So we could do it that way. All right. So I'm going to up here, I'm going to write the equations that we make for six. So it's three plus three equals six. Now, let's see here. I want to see if we can change it. So let's instead what would this one be? How many blue do we have? What numbers do we have? Let's erase this and this. What are their numbers? What is that? How many blue do we have? We have two blue plus how many green? One, two, three, four. Two plus four. So is two plus four also six? Let's count. We have starting two, one, or two, three, four, five, six. It does, it still equals six. <clears throat> okay, let's see if there's one more thing can we do. Oh, let's take that one. And let's make that one green. Okay, now how many blue do we have? One, we have one. Plus, how many green do we have? Let's count one, two, three, four, five. Five is one plus five, six. Yeah. Now, there's one more tricky one we could do. Look, what do you think? Right? Six. So there's, how many blue are there? None, none. Do you remember what number that is? Zero blue plus how many green? Six equals how many? There's still six, right? There's still six buckets. So there's so many possibilities. Now, if you want to get technical here, we could do this, watch. We could go the other way. We could, because we had three and three, right? Just a second, I'm gonna... There we go. We had three and three. No, I'm sorry. It's trying to erase it. 
don't know two erase. There we go. One, two. We had three and three. Three blue, three green, right? We could have also gone this way. Watch. Okay. Now, how many blue do we have? One, two, three, four. Now we have four blue plus two green. And that equals six. Now, does that equation right there look familiar? Look like any of the other equations in here? Yeah, it looks like this one. We just switched the order. Guess what? It doesn't matter if we switch the order right here. Four plus two equals six. Two plus four equals six. All right, nicely done, my friends. All right, we're gonna go on to the next page. Here we go. Listen to the story. How will you represent the shells in different ways? Color the counters to show different ways to make six. For each different way, complete the equation. Danica collects shells. Some of them are pink and some of them are brown. All right, some of them are pink and some of them are brown. Well, friends, let's go ahead and color them in. Some are pink and some are brown. So we have to fill them all up. That's all we know. <clears throat> some are pink. And some are brown. So what is my what is my answer here? Ready? Six equals, how many pink are there? And how many brown? Good. All right. We just went through all of these different ways, right? So let's see. Instead of three, we can... Let's do... How many should we do this time? How about one more? We'll do four on this one. Four pink and how many... Then how many blues? not blues, sorry, brown. So our numbers would be four plus two equals six. All right. Okay. Can we do more pinks? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then how many browns would it be? One. So it would be five plus one. All right, now let's do one more. Is this looking familiar? Kind of like we did with the buckets on the on the pier on the last page, yeah. Here we go. So you can pause this if you want while you write in the numbers that would go with that picture. What would they, go, what would go with that picture, right? You know, this is four plus two, okay? Why don't you pause this while you finish this page, okay? Okay, so now you guys, that was fabulous. You did a great job with numbers with the six and representing it in different ways. Let's do the same thing with seven. Let's count how many cubes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna break it apart. Listen, for each way, complete the equation. Tyler sees seven pails on the beach. Some of the pails are blue and some are yellow. How many pails of each color might he see? So some are blue and some are yellow. So let's go ahead and fill in these boxes, blue. Let's first do, why don't we go the opposite way this time? Let's do all blue. Some are blue and some are yellow. So we'll do this. And you can do it a different way if you want. You don't have to follow us, but I'm just going to show you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blues. So I'm going to go ahead and write seven blues. And how many greens? I mean, yellows. How many yellows? None. All right. Now let's do, let's do six. And then how many yellows would there be? One, yeah. So then you could write that. Six 
plus one equals seven. All right, so we did six here. We did seven, six, you count backwards. Which, how many should we do this one? On this one, five, let's try it. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And then how many yellow would we have? Two. Now, look in this equation. They move the equals back over to the other side. Guess what? It doesn't really matter which side the equal side, the equal sign is on, because I'm going to read it just like a sentence from left to right. So let's look. Seven equals seven plus zero. Well, is that true? Seven is the same as seven plus zero? Good. And seven is the same as six plus one. Seven equals six plus one. That's the same as writing this right here. How many blues do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five plus two equals seven. Is that true? Could you put the seven over here? Seven is five plus two or five plus two is seven. It's the same either way. All right. Now let's do this one. We did seven, six, five. What do you think? Four. Let's do four. One, two, three, four. So how many yellows would that be? Let's count. One, two, three. Three. Right. So there's three yellows. So let's go ahead. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Seven plus three is seven. Now let's see. Is it really? Let's look. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it is seven equals four plus three. All right. You can pause this while you fill that in yourself if you'd like. All right. How are you doing? Did you finish it? All right. The rest is on your own. So I want you to go find your homeschool teacher and ask them to please read the question to you and go ahead and show them all that you know about making six or seven. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, Math Stars.